Hi, thanks for coming to my channel. This is Midnight Moon Tarot and I'm Diana. This reading is going to be for the astrological sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or anywhere in your birth chart that Libra might appear. And if you're new to my channel, and you probably are because this channel is only like two months old, I'd like to invite you to subscribe and click that little bell so that you're sure to be notified whenever I upload new content. Also, if you would like a personalized reading from me, feel free to email me at midnightmoontarot at gmail.com. Also, in the description box below, you'll find links to my social media, my Patreon, PayPal, and links to some really cool things on Amazon I think you guys would like. Okay, this reading is going to be for the month of October as a whole. Uh, I will also be doing mid-month readings to kind of catch up and fill in or, you know, pick up on any new um, energies that are becoming in, okay? We recently just had our uh, new moon, and so that, with that, brings a lot of uh, new beginnings and fresh starts. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump right into this reading. Whoops. All right. You don't want to see that jumper. <laughs> That's the tower. So I'm going to burn this down. All right. What are the love messages for Libra for the month of October 2019? What are the love messages for Libra for the month of October 2019? What are the love messages for Libra for the month of October? 2019. Okay. What are the love messages for Libra for the month of October 2019? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and divide these up. And let's see. Oops, sorry. All right, the card on the bottom of the deck is. The Two of Pentacles reversed. Okay, so this card is going to be the overall energy for this particular reading. And as we go through your spread, I will show you how this card relates to the different cards that come up in the reading. But basically, the Two of Pentacles is someone who may be a little... Uh, egotistical, uh, maybe a little self-involved. Um, sometimes um, they seem as if, and I said seem as if, they uh, are only focused on themselves and their own personal needs, that they are unaware of others' feelings and the effect that they're having on them, uh, as reflected in these little ships being tossed about in the water behind him, and he's oblivious to it. Okay, so in the first, in the first column, represents you, and uh, things that you are currently going through have recently passed, and things that are coming uh, towards you. The second column is uh, your beloved, your intended, your um, soulmate, twin flame, um, divine counterpart, karmic partner, um, whoever is first and foremost in your heart, the one you think of when you wake up and the one you think of when you go to bed at night, okay? Uh, it may not be anyone that you've actually um, had a relationship with yet. This is someone that maybe you have your eye on. Now the third, the third column is your obstacles, okay? And those two are completely conflicting. All right, and the fourth row is your outcome. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we have the Knight of Wands and the Magician. So recently you've had um, quite a bit of, uh, you know, good luck and passion in your life. Uh, you've been as if you're just ready to go out there and conquer the world and uh, make manifest in your life, all uh, make all your dreams come true. Okay, whether this is to do with career or a love situation, as we go through the reading, uh, we'll find that out. Now, we have the Nine of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. 
Okay, and this is um, your beloved's column here. So they may be a person that is um, matured and has uh, learned a lot of life lessons and has um, a lot of love prepared and ready to give to you or to someone. Uh, they like to take it slow and sure and to be extra careful. This Knight of Pentacles is the slowest knight in the tarot. Uh, it also represents um, the, the earth signs. Okay, <clears throat> So they are a little more grounded and a little more um, focused on stability and future so of course um you know you may be involved with an air i mean an earth sign <laughs> okay all right so we're just going to see how uh, this goes on now your obstacles are going to be the eight of swords as well as the ace of cups okay well I see that, you know, you have these Nine of Cups here that your love is uh, offering you. And this Ace of Cups would certainly <clears throat> fulfill that and make that a um, complete set, like 10, okay. But you have a lot of hurt and things that have gone on in your past. Uh, this is more or less like um, a self-inflicted prison. Uh, you could escape from this. This is something completely of your own doing. It's not a real prison. You see that she is loosely bound. She could wiggle and get out of that. Uh, she is blindfolded. Uh, she doesn't know if she's going to fall and plummet uh, down into uh, a bottomless ocean or if she's safe there with just this little puddle okay she has these swords behind her and she thinks that <clears throat> she is enclosed in these bars but she's not it's all in her mind or his mind there's no gender in the tarot so uh yeah uh they want this and they want to be able to give these things to you or it could be you uh, because of maybe um, past relationships where you were hurt, um, you you want to give this cup of love to your intended, but you're kind of afraid of being hurt. All right, so for your outcome, we have <clears throat> the Hermit as well as the Knight of Cups. So I do see that you're going to uh, be able to um, have this communication open up with your loved one. You'll spend a little time alone. There may be, uh, you might take a little break. You might um, put back just a little bit, pull back just a little bit. Um, but in the end, uh, I do see that you'll be offering uh, this love to um, your beloved, okay? All right. Just, you know, you just want to be sure. That's all. So back into your column, we have the Four of Swords as well as the Six of Wands. So <clears throat> I do see that because you are taking this time out and thinking things through, that you will be able to make manifest uh, this, this beautiful love situation that's coming up and coming towards you. I see that you have done the work. You have put forth the time that it takes to heal and work through um to work through these obstacles that you had in your past. Now, uh, you know, I tell the story a lot when I show the Four of Swords, but in the olden days, like way, way olden, like medieval days, long time ago, the soldiers would build their own coffins before they would go off to war. And when they would come home as survivors, <laughs> They would lay and sleep on this coffin for like 30 days. Um, and they would take into pens of consideration all the horrors and all the things that they had been through. I, I guess it's like a remedy for PTSD or something before they were reintroduced back into the public. They had to take a time of uh, self-reflection and healing. So... When you were this hermit, uh, this is the time that you did heal from these wounds here that you had been holding in your mind, and you are ready to offer this big, beautiful cup of love to your partner. 
Okay. All right, so we have Ace of Swords and the Two of Swords. Okay, so of course, the Ace of Swords is victory. Um, and this is great on your part, okay? You being an air sign and all. Uh, the, two, the Two of Swords, they're crossed, okay? So there is going to be like, um, you know, a meeting of the minds. You're going to have to make this decision. You're going to have um, to, you know, you're going to have to decide that this is the, the way that you want to go. When you do, you will have uh, great victory in this relationship. Now we do see the new moon in Libra, which is exactly what we have right now as I'm doing this reading. And um, the Two of Swords also means peace. So you're going to be able to make peace with your past and with all that hurt from your past and be able to put it behind you and uh, move forward. Okay, so we have, okay, we have the Devil Reverse and the Ten of Cups for obstacles here. So, <clears throat> Um, you finally have, okay, so we have your Ace of Cups, we have this Nine of Cups offering, we have this Knight of Cups right here offering this cup to the Nine right here, okay. Where is that little Ten to go? So now... So now you have 10, okay, and this is your beautiful uh, ending. This is your happily ever after. This is um, all the things that you have uh, wanted in your life uh, that are coming forth. Uh, the, the devil in reverse looks very scary, but it means that previously you may have been in a relationship that was toxic, that was codependent, that might have been... Um, surrounding the one or the other partner's uh, use of alcohol or drugs or other type of addictions that they may have, um, you know, cheating, whatever, um, <clears throat> anger problems, just a completely, totally codependent relationship. Now, he is in reverse, which means that that is most likely what was hurting you prior to um to this relationship, but having done the work, you are ready to move forward and have this success with your partner. So let's find out a little more about who this partner is going to be. Okay, well, <clears throat> I see that uh, again. So first of all, in your, in your column, I see you have again twos and you have justice. And he's between two columns here himself. Uh, Justice also represents uh, the sign of Libra, which this is the reading for Libra. And you're sitting there and you're weighing. You've got this, <clears throat> you've got this world in your hand as if it is the crystal ball that you are looking at on the prospects of your future that you want to build with your beloved. And uh, considering all things, uh, you. I do see that uh, you'll be making that good choice, okay, to uh, manifest this perfect love into your life, okay? So now we're going to see what your partner is feeling. So your partner is Seven of Cups and the Queen of Wands, okay? So, even though this is a queen, it can also be a male. It's just the energy that this particular card represents. So, this queen of wands is someone that is fun-loving, that can keep up with your active lifestyle, that will show you over and over all the many different things that they have, all the different facets they have to their personality. You know, like a diamond has a facet, and the more facets it has, the more uh, light the diamond reflects and shines, okay? So you will see that uh, when you are with this person, uh, they, like Rihanna's song, guess shine bright like a diamond, you will, uh, you will just be amazed and in awe. See how he's looking at all these beautiful cups here? At uh, this, this uh, perfect personality for 
that it's coming into your life. All right, so uh, the, the Queen of Wands represents fire signs, which is um, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, if you want to put it in the order that they come around in. So uh, you might look to see if that you know, person, maybe of a fire sign is coming in your life. I do see a lot of wands in your reading. Uh, we have this king of wands, which is showing up uh, just on the other side of this seven of wands. So you do have this king and this queen of wands. Um, and I, I do see that because this is falling in your outcomes. Uh, that this is definitely going to be a um, soul t soulmate type relationship that it's going to uh, manifest very, very quickly. Okay, I'm pulling some extra cards here. It's going to manifest very quickly and <clears throat> that you will see that this is uh, your divine counterpart. Uh, you can see the four, the four of wands here again, it's in the suit of wands, and you can see that it makes the 1111, which is the sign for our uh, divine counterpart, soulmate. So, you will, when you meet this person, if you haven't met them yet, or if you already know them and you've just been keeping it at bay till you got yourself right at the time and you are ready to release these bonds <coughs> right here, these little mental bonds of hurt and um, karmic ties or soul ties you have that you have to your past person. When you are through with all of that, you will be able to offer this uh, cup of love to your beloved and uh, it will all happen very, very fast and you will become the king and queen, okay, and have your happily ever after. Okay, so that was really a, a really great and fun reading there for you. I didn't really have to use any clarifiers with this. It was all pretty much self-explanatory, and it's a little bit of a short reading, but it's a good reading, Libra. Okay, and I'm Libra myself, but I'm not being biased. These are the cards that came out for your reading. And again, I just want to tell you guys thank you so much for all of your support and all the new subscribes that I've had in the last week or so. <clears throat> it means so much to me. And thank you, thank you so much for all of your donations and all of the ones requesting personalized readings. And of course, if you want one again, you can email me at midnightmontero at gmail.com. And I love you guys so much. And I am joy I'm enjoying getting to know each and every one of you. Uh, as I build this community here on YouTube. Okay, so I hope you guys have a great night, and I will see you guys mid-October. Okay, bye-bye. Love you.